guys, it's Cassie. It's Richie. So, we just came from a trip. Where did we go? Everywhere, pretty much. You want to list it out? Okay, go. Malaysia, Singapore, Thailand, Australia, Hong Kong. Bali. Bali. That's like well, six that's countries. Indonesia, yeah. And then like North Australia. So yeah. today we're going to show you guys how we packed for those three weeks using only a carry-on. Yeah. Why did we only bring a carry-on? Well, it was hard. We had a lot of like connecting flights. We wanted to pack light, especially because we were transferring from like plane to plane, city to city, country to country frequently. We didn't want to, you know, check in all the time and we didn't want to have this big, huge luggage yeah. weighing us down, slowing us down. Yeah, as you can imagine, all those countries in three weeks, it was a little tricky to pack for. Yeah. But you know what? I think we made it work. So let's show them our carry-ons. You know, we went to all these places and I tried to like find stickers from like Indonesia, Malaysia, couldn't, only had Australia, so <laughs> for now we have Australia on this yeah. luggage, which is okay. But these luggages are from Calpac, yeah. and they're so good. Yeah, so we like Calpac because they look good. Like, yeah. They look fashionable, <laughs> you like walk around and you're like, you know. It's also a hard shell, so you can kind of sit on it too, and like, you don't have to worry about your stuff getting squished. Yeah, as it like. It's, everything's protected, everything is yeah. just in, and it's like a bug. You know? Right. <laughs> Protecting the inside. A beetle. A beetle. Right, that's so true. What I actually like is that it limits you to pack a certain amount. I used to have this other like fabric carry-on. It had like so many pockets on the side and it would just end up being really big because it just expanded mm -hmm. a lot. Yeah. And then it would just get so heavy, it wouldn't even fit in the overhead compartment. So with CalPack you're just set. And it's approved by all airlines. So I have this portable charger, which you can just attach to the luggage itself. There were like luggages that had built-in mm -hmm. USB like charging system, but from what I've heard, like a lot of airlines actually ban that now. So it's good that this is removable, like yeah. just in case. And yeah, it also has a lock. It's a TSA lock, so it's a universal key that they can just open just right. in case. Like you don't have to worry about them like cutting any zippers or anything <laughs> like that. Yeah. But yeah, let's open her up, shall we? Show you a little overview. There we go. Also, what I love about CalPack is that it has like so many different compartments, zippers and whatnot for separation. Separation. Yeah. Separation is great. We're gonna start off with our number one essential for packing. We'll put this, let's put this down first. <laughs> what is our number one essential, Richie? An extra bag. That is not. <laughs> is that, what is it? <laughs> I was gonna say packing cubes, but right. let's go with the. Let's go with the extra bag just because you brought it up. So Richie and I always like to carry an extra like duffel bag just in case um, certain airlines may or may not have like a weight limit. And as a loophole, I don't know if it's allowed, but no, you you're know, allowed an extra true like a bag, a personal bag. Like true, that. but then we would have three personal bags. Yeah. But you know. It's details, okay. details, we got away with it. That's the bottom line. Anyway, so if it's overweight, we just usually um, just stuff things in here and then they usually think it's fine. It's just a regulation. Also, it's great uh, when you're going back home, if you want to take some souvenirs and stuff like that, you can just fill this up with souvenirs and then check in this bag. It's always good to have options. This also doubles as a beach bag, which is great as well. Right. Um, but yeah, so my actual essential that I was gonna say is packing cubes. I don't know how I was packing before packing cubes because it just makes everything so compact. You can separate separate like underwear to like swimwear to like shirts and pants so it really does help you keep it organized. So we usually like to pack with three packing cubes. This is also from CalPack. Two other ones which is I think half the size would you say? So because we were traveling to a hot climate and then like a relatively cold climate because it was winter technically in Australia even though it wasn't even <laughs> that cold. It wasn't even that cold like people were wearing parkas and I'm like I guess we're- Well we live in Vancouver so- This particular packing cube is for all of the larger garments, I guess you could say. What we really recommend you guys doing though is packing more tops than pants bottoms. Because you can reuse pants. I feel like the outfit, especially when you're taking photos, when you change your top, it looks like you're wearing a completely different outfit yeah. than when you change your pants, usually. And since we are like fashion YouTubers and we wanted to take pictures, um, it was very important for us to bring like an assortment of different tops, like yeah. tube tops. And they're also a lot lighter and less heavy 
and take up less space than pack. I think I only pack like three pants. I think you're better at packing than I do because I feel like I'm gonna run out of outfits when I do get to like certain places. So I want to have like extra clothing, but you're really good at it. Like you pack like yeah. different tops. Okay, I am good at it, but I always end up borrowing something from you. Which is fine. I think you know that I've overpacked. So you're like, okay, like I'm gonna borrow from Richie. <laughs> I feel like that's just how it is. Like Yeah, I mean, it works out. If you're traveling with a friend, Maybe just like coordinate with each other, like bring Our different clothes. things. If your friend is bringing like a black denim jacket, maybe you should bring a blue denim jacket yeah. so you can like alternate. Like that's a, literally that's what, what we, we did. did. Yeah. Because I brought a black denim jacket, right? Yeah, and you borrowed it, and then yeah. See, so we have like different outfits. Coordination. Turn it around. It actually has a zipper in the back, so you can fit more things inside. Or if say a top or one of your shorts get dirty, I usually put it in the back. Oh, so that so I true. know that it's dirty. I never did that. You should do it. I yeah. never did that. I would just put it in a different plastic bag. But yeah. That's great. Richie's actually going to San Diego in two days. I am. So you should use that tip. And then yeah. also a tip for you guys is to wear your heaviest items on the airplane right. because odds are it's going to be cold and you don't want to pack like these large items into your suitcase because obviously mm -hmm. you'll run out of space and the pants that I usually wear to airports and Richie wears this too cargo pants it has like so many pockets you can put your passport your lip gloss everything moving on to the other packing cubes we have the smaller ones on the other side and this one is actually for underwear if you want to just like shove everything in there bras, bras. Socks, socks yeah. underwear. This one actually doesn't have any mesh on it. It's just like a. It could you could use this as a toiletry bag, which yeah, it's waterproof actually. That's really yeah, that's what the guy said. It is waterproof. That's why I use this for liquid. So this is the last packing cube we have. As you can see, it actually also has like a little thing to display a label. Yeah. So you can actually take it out and then write say underwear, swimwear, socks. Swimwear. Anyways, this inside one specifically is for swimwear because we did go to Asia. We went on a cruise. Lots of places to wear swimsuits, pretty much. And in addition to the swimsuits, I actually have like this shawl kind of thing. It's like a cover up, so it's great for on the beach, but it also works for a beach blanket because it's really large and it's, and it's really thin. Too. Yeah, you just like shove it in a bag and then you're good to go. Or you can put it around your waist, or you can change Use it as a dress. It. Use it as a dress? Another wow, way. multifunctional. And another trick or another tip that we use, especially Cassie, you can actually use one piece as like a top. So you can yeah. wear this, and it's like really cute. It has a low back, and then just throw in some shorts. You might get a wedgie. <laughs> That's so true. You're, I, I kept it like, oh, uh, Richie, hi, me. I mean, there's other like one piece swimsuits that don't give you a wedgie, so. Moving on to shoes. Richie and I usually pack around three shoes when we travel. We pack obviously the ones that we're wearing to the airport, which I usually wear slides. Yeah. I always wear like high top. Converse. And, and it, she's like, why do you wear stuff that like takes so long to like put on and take off? Yeah. And like, I don't know. I want to look good. <laughs> I want to look good. That's it. Okay. I'm kidding. <laughs> wow, she really felt that. No, but I like didn't. seriously guys, when we're like lining up for TSA, I'm just looking down at Richie's shoes and it just takes her so long. Like she has a hard time for me. But I, I'm like, it's chill. I don't care. When we go to LA, I usually wear slides, but since shoes do take up a lot of space, I put my slides in this little Ziploc bag along mm -hmm. with a more like dressier pair of sandals, I guess, for, you know, Fancy night on yeah. the cruise. Yeah. I feel like Chucks are the best to pack in because they, like, they literally collapse. are like fabric and just you just have to worry about the rubber part. Yeah. That's it. So I always pack Chucks and it goes well with everything. You know what I realized? I don't have a neutral pair of Chucks. Like I only have like yellow and red. Oh yeah. <laughs> I don't have, have like, black. Because you borrowed from me. <laughs> I know. See? I always borrow shoes. Borrow. And then the next thing in the luggage. In the hot pocket. tool. I think that packing a straightener is definitely a lot better than packing just a curler because what you can do with a straightener is straighten and curl at the same time. Although yeah. it takes a little bit longer, this is definitely more space efficient yeah, if you don't want to bring than two. Yeah, packing two hot tools. And we usually don't pack a hair dryer because you can usually find those at Hotels. the hotel or the Airbnb or the cruise ship bunker you're in. Is it a bunker? I don't know. It's a I don't know. cabin. It's, it's a, a cabin. stateroom. 
stateroom, that's what they call it. Mm -hmm. And then the last thing that's in this luggage is what caused us the most, or me the most. Well, I did too. I was questioned too. TSA, they don't like liquids. As you guys already know, you can't bring any bottles that's larger than 100 milliliters. And accumulatively, you can't bring liquids that exceed over one liter. Yeah, so they actually have this plastic bag that they give you if they see that you have way too many liquids. You have to fit it in there, and like ours did not fit, so we had to throw away some I of our liquids. I was so sad because I literally bought like travel size, which is a tip, obviously buy travel sized containers, but I bought so many, I packed so much like sunscreen, face wash, and my tip for you guys is to definitely not- Distribute it. Yeah, that, but not pack items that you can buy somewhere else. True. Such as like yeah. cheaper like shampoos or body wash. Like you don't need usually a specific body wash, you can just buy it at whatever country you're in. Definitely pack your more important liquids like special shampoo. You had a lot because you have blonde hair. I needed to take care of this hair and I needed my apple cider vinegar conditioner, okay? It was very important. It's in this waterproof R and Co bag that we have here. But I also recommend distributing, like Richie yeah. said, the liquids because odds are they're not gonna check each and every pocket. They're usually gonna focus on your main bulk of liquids, which you should have, but say you have like a little like foundation, like I wouldn't put it in here. I would put it in my makeup yeah, bag. Yeah, they don't really check the makeup bag. So I would just like kind of just spread it out. Just make sure it's not too sus, like just, sus. you know, the little bottles for sure. Because with this bad boy, let me show you. Okay, the Fenty Body Lava. We got stopped every single like custom. Not every single. Well, like literally I see her like taking out, oh, it's actually 90 ml. <laughs> like she literally has an explanation. Oh, it's actually 90 ml. <laughs> like she has to say I that. I need to prove it. The Fenty Beauty Body Lava is only 90 ml despite the fact that it looks like a massive yeah. container. It's not, it's just glass. The product that's in it is, is only three fluid ounces, so you're good to go. But next time, I think I'm gonna squirt it into a little container so they don't yeah, keep don't on opening my much. bat. Yeah, yeah, I know. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we actually have one more thing. I totally forgot about it until like five seconds ago. So this is a sunglasses bag from Perverse, but I like to use it for just like random miscellaneous things that just like end up being everywhere. Yeah. So it's good to keep everything in one safe place. So we got some sunglasses in here. You can also put, well, there's only sunglasses because I did not prepare this beforehand because I just remembered about it. Hmm. Um, but you can put your, your glasses, your jewelry, necklaces, chokers, hoop earrings, and it's definitely good for sunglasses because it's a hard shell and it keeps them protected and it's flat. So it doesn't really take up too much yeah. space. And then next we have our personal items bag, personal belongings. Richie usually brings a tote, right? Yeah, I do. She usually puts her laptop, My laptop. Bible. It's just easy to like take your laptop out to separate it. This is actually where I store my makeup, just in case I wanted to do touch-ups like on the plane. So I have my little makeup bag here, and I know it's small, and I actually brought a larger bag, but it's actually in my car, so. Pack the essentials, because... Not too much. Try not to pack too much, or you'll end up like Richie, losing half her makeup collection. Literally, <laughs> I put my bag under like where you're supposed to put it, and then, I don't know, for some reason it fell off because like it, my bag was open, and I didn't realize until like I actually went, got to like the place. And I'm like, Kong, right? no way, I cannot lose my makeup kit. But, but I always separate like my foundation, like the essential, essential, like. The core. Foundation, the core, like <laughs> press powder, into a smaller bag just in case I need it in the airplane. So that, that I was able to save that, but everything else was gone and I was like, okay, wow. Well. Especially when you're going to a tropical country, you don't necessarily wear a lot of makeup anyways, yeah. or at least I don't. So this is all I would need and then I just shove it in there as well as my laptop bag. And this pouch actually houses like a lot of the electronics that I'll use. My adapter, maybe extra headphones, extra memory cards. This actually holds a lot. Then we have the front pocket. I don't know what it, oh, five hour. If you wanna fix your sleeping schedule, get off the plane, drink five hour, do your thing, go to sleep. <laughs> An extra little bag. 
they don't really count this as an extra bag, no, I don't yeah. think. They don't really care. It's a fanny pack. But if they do, you can always shove it into your personal bag. Not really an issue. This is actually a fanny pack from Walmart. Yeah. And it's perfect. You just like wear it around your shoulder or whatever, like around your waist. This is actually a traveling fanny pack. You can put your passports in the front, easy access. You just like get it. And then the rest you can put like your lip balm, lotion. I always have lotion in there. Earphones over here. I actually have like this little device here. It's like an earphone splitter. You can actually share. Yeah, if you want to watch together. if you want to watch the movie together, you can totally do that with this thing. Or if you want to listen to music together or listen to a podcast together, it definitely helps strengthen your relationship. Wow, with great. With your best friend. <laughs> watching a movie? I when remember we... Jen was like watching my movie. She wasn't even listening to it. She was just laughing. And on the other side, you can put your contacts lenses yeah usually when I'm in the airport I'll wear contacts and then when I'm on the airplane itself I take out my contacts, put it into the fanny pack and then I obviously have my glasses in here but yeah that's basically it for our video hope you guys got some inspiration and got some tips on how to pack for your adventure if you find yourself in the same situation as us having to pack mm -hmm. light for a three-week trip to six countries I think backpackers probably do a better job than we oh, do, 100%. but we have to factor in the fact that we're Fashion influencers, bloggers. I guess, and we have to create content surrounding the stuff that we wear and what we bring. So this is the more, I guess, like glam way of backpacking <laughs> without using a backpack. Sure. That doesn't even make sense. Anyway, that's what's in our luggage. Don't forget to follow us on our Instagram platforms. Yeah, at Cassie Masenkai. At Richie Pum21. And at Weird to the Nine. Don't forget to hashtag Weird to the Nines to be featured. But yeah, we'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye! It's getting hot in here, guys. Y'all don't even know it is hot. It's summertime. It's 30 degrees summertime. here in Vancouver. So many noises. Great. I would be like, they just want your money, but no. <laughs> no. Two, five. Wow, you were sweating. Yeah, Very I know. Good, like... Okay, <laughs> don't touch <laughs> it. God was trying to teach me something. <laughs>